The 11th episode of the science fiction series Silo on Apple TV Plus, titled Outside, centers on Juliette Nichols's reaction to watching the video shot by Jane Carmody that depicts the outside world as lush and green. Bernard and Robert Sims become enraged when she starts playing the footage on the displays within the silo. When their attempts to capture her fail, the custodians of the silo make a choice that puts Juliet's life in danger. With multiple ambiguous plot twists and discoveries, the captivating episode comes to a satisfying conclusion. Let us share our thoughts on the conclusion of episode 10 if you're interested in a more in-depth analysis of the matter. Spoilers ahead. Outside begins with Juliet Nichols setting out to screen the video of the outer world, in which the same is lush, green, and habitable, in the displays inside the silo. She seeks the help of Patrick and an employee of the IT department to do the same. Although she succeeds in screening the video, Bernard makes sure that the same is not shown anymore in no time. Juliet tries to escape the authorities through the vertical tunnels in the silo, but Bernard realizes what the former is doing and sends Sims and other officers to capture her. When officers throw things at her to make her surrender, Juliet falls to the bottom, only for her peers to save her. While Juliet recovers at Martha Walk Walker's home, her former boss Knox calls the judicial to inform them about her. Knox doesn't want the authorities to conduct trades and make other residents' lives miserable in her name. Before she gets captured, Juliet talks to Walk about the heat tapes of the IT department. Juliet then gets captured by Bernard and Sims, and they take her to prison while the residents of the silo watch the same. Martha then goes to Carla, seeking heat tapes. Bernard and Sims take Juliet to the surveillance room to show her what really happened to George Wilkins. Juliet watches the security footage of Wilkins killing himself to not let the authorities torture him to find the hard drive he hid for the former to find. Pete Nichols, Juliet's father, joins his daughter at the prison and brings her meals. After Pete is left, Shirley goes to see her and brings her some food from Walk, along with a letter informing the former sheriff that there is plenty more heat tape available. Paul Billings is questioned by Sims about visiting Juliet's flat. The security chief admits he has observed the deputy sheriff's shaking hands, a sign of the illness. Sims chooses to maintain Billings in his position, rather than let him go. What is outside the silo? Is the outer world habitable? Juliet is sent outside the silo after being abducted by Bernard and Sims so that the two can avert a mutiny brewing inside the facility. When Juliet is made to exit the silo, she finds a lovely, verdant environment. She realizes that the picture of a vivid world is just a simulation the suit's visor presence when she realizes that the birds flying in the skies fly exactly as birds do in the video captured by Jane Carmody. To confirm this, she uses Holsten Becker's badge. Instead of perishing like those that exited the silo, she encounters a desolate landscape when she walks forward. Since the vibrant world is only a simulation, the cafeteria display has been showing the real world, which is barren and lifeless. Considering that all the people who went out of the silo, except for Juliet, have died inhaling the air outside the refuge, especially Holston and his wife Allison, it is safe to say that the outside world is inhabitable. The founders of the silo must have created the simulation to trick the people who went outside to clean the camera under the belief that the residents would watch a revived world if they did the same. By making them do so, the founders must have achieved the satisfaction of the residents watching the real barren world, clearly enough to acknowledge their establishment. Why doesn't Juliet die? The toxic air in the outside world prevented anyone who emerged from the silo from ever managing to survive. The individuals that managed to escape the silo before Juliet left the establishment, whether it was Holston or Allison, had already passed away before getting to the tiny ridge. Juliet, however, is still alive and makes it all the way to the ridge without any problems. The thermal tape put on Juliet's suit is what keeps her alive. The suits created for those who would exit the silo appear to have openings that would allow deadly outside gas to enter and kill the wearer. The heat tapes used while dressing Holston, Allison, or any other individual who left the silo before Juliet must have had pores for the toxic gas to kill them. Juliet stays alive because the heat tapes used while dressing her are the ones Walk collects from Carla. The tapes used in the IT department are of high quality, 
which is also why Juliet stole the same before becoming a sheriff. Walk seemingly replaces the low-quality tapes, most likely filled with pores, with the ones used in the IT department, to ensure that Juliet's suit doesn't have any openings for the toxic air to kill her. Where does Juliet go? Are there more silos? When Juliet leaves the silo and moves forward, she is met with a desolate landscape. There are, however, a number of apertures on the ground that resemble the opening of the silo she has lived in her entire life. These gaps show that there are more silos than just hers in the globe, and it. She should wind up in silo 17 and encounter Solo, the last survivor of an insurrection that took place there, if the impending second season of the series closely follows Hugh Howey's silo novels, the show's source texts, without any deviance. She might find out that silo 18, the silo where she lived, exists. Solo may teach Juliet to communicate with other silos, including Silo 18. She may establish contact with Lucas or Walk, so that she can explain that the outer world is really what the display at the cafeteria displays. In the novels, Juliet also forms a relationship with Lucas and learns that the mechanical department kickstarted a rebellion against Bernard's reign. Juliet's journey to another silo may also unravel the history of these establishments and how they are really operated.